Hello my lovelies! It is time for Einstein's 10 month old pup box unboxing. So stay tuned! So I have Einstein's 10 month old box here and he is super excited to get into it. As soon as I sat down with it he was just all over me. So I've already cut it open. <laughs> now you guys see it? I said, good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Okay. So digging in here. Uh, this just tells us everything that's in our box. And uh, Einstein cannot wait. He needs the stuff now. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out this first toy that I can't show you. Hold on. Sit. Sit. Einstein. Sit. Good boy. Okay, so this first toy is the Hooten Harry. Uh -uh. Sit. Einstein, sit. Okay, so this first toy is the Hoot and Harry Rope Tug. It is a crazy looking owl, and Einstein wants it right now. <laughs> Let's see if it squeaks. It feels like it has a squeaker in there. Oh, goodness. These arms stretch out. <laughs> oh, the arms stretch out. It's not a squeaker inside, it's more rope so it can stretch. Let me pull this tag off here. <laughs> Can we show that? Can we show the camera? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like this. It's very cute. He's going nuts for it. <laughs> Woo, so get it. Okay, and while he's over there, we have Johnny Snow Heads and Tails. I don't even know what this is, but uh, it's weird. So it's like feathery kind of thing, and this is crinkly. We got a shiny one, a soft fluffy one, another weird feathery one. I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it's crinkly. There's a squeaky in the head. <laughs> Einstein and Bella are both here. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it, Bella. All right. Here, I'm going to move closer to the camera. Which is hard to do when the dog comes around. Okay, you want it? Go get it. Okay, then we have this lit lantern. Uh, it says water resistant, 100% silicone, attaches to collars, leashes, or anywhere. And it's just a light, I guess. Oh, goodness. Oh, you have to remove this to activate. It says, safety for puppers is our utmost concern here at Pup Box. So we've crafted our very own safety light for pups that hooks on their collar or leash. This is perfect for walkies in the wee mornings and when your pup has those nighttime zoomies throughout the yard or park. This fluorescent accessory is lightweight, trendy, and most importantly was created with your fur baby safety in mind. Cool. And then we've got this. Uh, from Buck Bark Worthy's stuffed beef bone with bully stick blend, and this is like a heavy duty. Oh, you want okay. it? This is heavy. Uh, it's like a bone with stuff inside. Yeah, it's a beef bone stuffed with bully stick blend. Boop, 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 boop. 
Oh, he's not even interested in the toy anymore. You can't have that yet. Then we've got Spike. I'm a ball of spikes. And it's this. Does it squeak? Oh, yes. Go get it. <laughs> and then we've got the... Oh, you're here for the treats. The uh, Blizzard Bite made with real pork and bacon. Oh, Einstein. Looks like this. All right. You're ready for treats? Right here. Okay. 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 Hold on. Let me scoot back because your butt is all up on the camera. Come here. Sit. Oh. And we've moved the tripod. Sit. Good girl, Bella. Sit. Good girl. Einstein. Sit. Sit. All right, lay down. Lay down. There you go. There you go. All right. Got to keep you calm a little bit. A little bit. I know you're excited. Then we've got our card here. It says training and development for your 10 month old puppy. Is my baby still a baby? Growth and development begins to slow down around the 12, 10 to 12 month mark. However, mental and emotional development continues throughout this and future stages of your pup's life. Your pup still needs you there to provide guidance to reward mannerly behavior, like you're being so good right now. Oh, Bella ate that one. To prevent unwanted and potentially dangerous behaviors and to facilitate opportunities for socialization, physical and mental enrichment. Though puppy crazies, craziness and defiance may still peek its fluffy head now and again. Uh -uh, lay down. See, that's what they're talking about. <laughs> Overall, your pup is moving into adulthood with a nice training foundation. Continue with new experiences. At this stage, your pup is much more advanced in regards to coordination and agility. Your pup is also likely to have more strongly developed opinions and preferences about people, places, things, and other animals. It's common for 10-month-old pups to be less comfortable with certain people or dogs even if they had the benefit of early socialization. Help your pup to best handle these tense situations by using, uh -uh, lay down, using the training skills he has mastered, such as hand targeting, sit and down, as a way to redirect his attention to you. Play new games. Playing games in the park is a great way, sit Bella, sit, good girl, no sit. is a great way to create positive associations with new people and new places. See if that, lay down. Nope, lay down. See if your pup likes to play Frisbee. Start by, wait. Start by rolling a disc on its side along the ground so your pup can chase it a few feet and easily pick it up by the edge. Once your pup gets the hang of that, you can start lightly tossing it in the air for your pup to grab. Frisbee is a fun game that stimulates your pup both mentally and physically. We need to try the rolling it on the ground first, huh? We haven't tried that. Keeping your pup stimulated. As your puppy grows older, uh, as your puppy grows older, you may see a decline in energy levels. Those cute puppy zoomies aren't on display. Whoops. He drove it. Here you go. Uh, aren't on display quite as frequently. This is natural, but don't use this as an excuse to lack, slack off on exercise and training. In fact, exercise training and mental stimulation are just as important now as ever. Plus, you can continue to have a blast with your pup as you make the most of their newfound agility, fully developed senses, and more advanced cognitive abilities. Tips to keep your pup active. Games and activities. Find new ways to exercise. Start incorporating a game of fetch or frisbee into your routine. Play hide and seek around the house with your pup's favorite toy or go for a bike ride. Advanced training. Let's face it, your puppy is a genius. 
By the time your pup has reached 10 months old, he will be so well trained, the neighbor's children will look like little demons in comparison. But remember, the game of learning should never end. Introduce new, more challenging behaviors and fun tricks. Learning new tricks stimulates the brain and ex exerts energy. Advanced classes. Plan for a special night out for you and your pup each week. Join an advanced training class. Check out tris tricks, disc games, agility, scent detection, freestyle dancing, and more. There's really no limit to the cool new things you and your pup can learn together. Therapy work. Consider, ch consider chatting with a trainer about getting your dog involved in therapy work in hospital and care centers. Most of the therapy dogs get evaluated and certified around one year old. Puppy sleeping patterns. A puppy schedule can be exhausting. A few hours of sleep followed by a few hours of nonstop craziness. As your pup starts to enter adulthood, his sleeping patterns should become more routine. Many new puppy owners worry that uh -uh, worry that their pup sleeps too much, but the fact of the matter is most adult dogs sleep 14 to 18 hours per day. A dog's sleep cycle is different from a human's. Dogs tend to only sleep for a few hours at a time. They will wake up, wander around the house, and then plop back down for another few hours of sleepy time. This is completely normal. Like humans, the more exercise your pup receives, the better his sleep patterns will be. Also like humans, dogs have different cycles of sleep and inner rim sleep cycle when they are in their deepest of slumbers. So when you see your pup's legs moving and hear soft barks while he's sleeping, don't be alarmed. Your pup is snoozing away and most likely dreaming about chasing butterflies in the yard. Bella, very much. She will, she will bark and growl and go crazy in her sleep. Your pup's bed. As your pup gets bigger, think about upgrading his bed. Remember that dogs are pack animals. They love to sleep near you, and they feel most secure in a dark, confined area. Make sure to take both of these things into account when placing his bed. Dog beds can also attract a lot of dead skin cells, dander, and bacteria. Make sure to get a bed that can be washed easily and try to wash it every few months. And then it says, teaching your puppy to spin on command. Teaching your pup to spin on cue may not seem to be quite as useful as something like fetching, but it actually can be more than just an adorably entertaining trick. When your pup spins, he is stretching out his back and abdominal muscles. This stretchy movement will keep those muscles limber and agile and will deliver more blood flow to the muscles and even releases endorphins that are proven to keep your pup feeling good. Let's get started with five steps. Hold the treat at your pup's nose while he stands in front of you. Let's see if we can do this. Can we do this? We'll try it with Bella since she's standing. Move your hand slightly to the pup's, to the side of the pup's head and towards your pup's rear so he curves his body oh, to follow your hand. If your pup is comfortably following your hand into a full circle right off the bat, mark and reward when he makes it back to standing in front of you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me stand up. All right, right here. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, good boy. Here, Bella, you want to try? Can you try? Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, spin around. Oh, good boy. Okay, let's try Bella. Spin. Good boy. Bella, you want to spin? Come on. Come on, Bella. You can do it. All right, Einstein, you want to do it? You want to spin? Let's try again. Spin. <laughs> you didn't spin. All right, let's try it again. Spin. Good boy. All right, Bella. Spin. She's just moving off to the side. <laughs> okay. All right. Huh? Now it says, sit. I say, lay down. Good boy. It says, cleaning out the closet. Try to go through your pup's toy bin every three months and clear out the clutter. We know that you and your puppy have both grown attached to that torn up plush toy with one eye and half his stuffing missing. But enough is enough. The cute dragon with no head has served his purpose and it's time to retire him as a, to do, dog toy heaven. 
Go through your pup's toys and accessories and clean out everything that's worn out or dirty. Dirty toys that have been sitting under the couch for months can carry harmful bacteria. Give them a toss and replace them with shiny new pup box toys. Your pup will appreciate it too. Dogs tend to get bored of toys after a while. Lay down. And the introduction of new toys will keep your big baby intrigued and engaged. Isn't that right, Einstein? Okay. And then what do we have here? Obesity, the most common preventable disease in doggos. And uh, it talks about what the right weight for your dog is, what causes obesity. It really comes down to diet and exercise. Let's see, lack of exercise. What can I do if my young pup is overweight or obese? High five Fido. Follow these steps to teach your pup to ring in the new year and impress your friends with a high five. Make sure not to grab their paw in the process, which might spook pups with sensitive paws. And it says, ask them to sit, hold a treat in your fist, put your fist in front of their nose and wait for them to paw at your fist while still sitting in place. Oh, hold on. Start over with sit if they move or jump up. When they do, reward them with praise and a treat from your other hand. Keep practicing until they can do it consistent, consistently, but don't force it if they seem to lose interest. Repeat steps two through five, but with an open hand in the high five position. If the treat residue on your hand doesn't motivate them, try hiding a piece of treat between your fingers. Say high five every time they touch your hand and reward them with praise and a treat. Dial back on the treats a bit once they get the hang of it. Keep practicing. It's a simple trick, but reps will help them retain it. Alright, Einstein. Sit. Let's see what? Hold on. Fist in front of their nose and wait for them to paw at your fist. Alright, sit. Sit. Einstein, sit. 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 Nope. Sit. Sit. Now he lays down. He's not pawing it. He's trying to eat it. Okay. Sit. I'm saying. Sit. 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 Hey. Sit. Sit. Good boy. All right. Good boy. There you go. You did it. All right. Sit. All right. Get up. Come on. Up. Up. Stand up. She's going to chew on me too. Give me five, Bella. Sit. Give me five. Give me five. Alright, sit. Okay. There you go. Alright, sit. 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 <laughs> Einstein, sit. Sit. Hey, buddy, sit. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Hey. Look at me. Einstein, look at me. Good boy. Give me five. Good boy. Alright, give me five. Uh -uh. Give me five. Einstein. Give me five. Give me five. Good boy. <laughs> well, that'll take some work. All right, what else we got here? New Year, New You, and your young pup too. So it says try to remember things you learned in your first six months as a puppy. Exercise at least 20 minutes twice a day. Uh, sneak in more snuggles. Go to my human when they call me. Learn a few new tricks so I can be more impressive than I already am. Did I already say sneak in more snuggles? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Hold on, actually, we'll give Einstein this big old bone, if I can get it open. Lay it down. Good boy. Bella's like, I want the big bone. Bella's not gonna get the big bone. All right, Bella. Come here. All right, Bella's gonna get some extra cuddles and some butt scratches, huh? <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye. Bye.